Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minorite Speech series. I'm gonna do a updated what's in my pen case video. This video was super popular. So if you guys want to see my original video, I will link it up here so you guys can check it out. But now that it's a new year, I thought that I would kind of share with you what I keep in here. I've done a what's in my Delphonics pouch video already, and that should be up already. So if you guys want to see what I keep in that, I will also link that. But this is more of a kind of pared down version. I do have some of the stuff taken from that pouch into here. And basically if I am on the go and I want to bring my stuff with me, then I will take this one instead of the Delphonics pouch because that one I do have in the medium size. It can be a little bit heavy and big and bulky. So if I want something a little bit more compact, this is what I will usually take. So this is the La Hit pen case. I got this off of Amazon so I will link that down below and you guys can check it out. And this particular style is in the book style. So this one I do have it in the black color. They do have a ton of different colors and oranges and greens but mine is black on the outside and then it is brown on the inside. So I think it's very neutral, works for any time of the year, and it's also unisex. So I think that's why it's super popular. But this is the book style, and this is what I mean by the book. It kind of looks like that, and it opens up this way. So first off, before we get into it, I am gonna talk about the outside. So like I said, mine is in the black. You do get this larger pocket here, and then one smaller one. The only thing I keep in here is this little gift card from Pink, and I use it to cut washi. So instead of keeping a slice tool or um, a ruler handy, I just keep this because it's a little bit more compact and it's very light. In this part, I do have some sticky notes. These are from Paper Echoes. So these are just extra places I can take notes. And then I also have some stickers. These are from Melinta. I cut them off of the larger roll um, so that I can include them in my journal. So I just keep that in there. There is nothing here on the back. And this material is very um, nylon-y. It's very smooth and shiny. So if it gets dirty, you can easily wipe it. So let's move on to the inside. So over here on this side in my old setup, I used to have all my Sarasa pens here and my Muji pens and I would kind of like alternate them so that some of them were in like this and then some of them I just kind of hooked on in the center. So that was really great in terms of organization and saving space. So I was able to put a lot in here. But now I have changed things up. Right now I'm keeping all my fountain pens in here. So these are all my Lamy Safari pens. I do have one that I'm currently using, which I kind of keep out in here just um, because it's the one that I use the most. So um, these three here are the Lamy Safari limited edition from 2019. So this is the powder pink one. This is the mint glaze, and then this one is the blue microphone. I don't know if you can still get these because they are limited edition. You may be able to find it off of Amazon though, which is where I got most of mine. But I do have different inks in here, and then I also have different nibs. So I have a medium, an extra fine, and a fine. And if you are curious about which inks I have in here, I will put them all in the description because they all have different inks. So that is what I have in terms of my Lamy Safaris. And then I do also have these Lamy Safaris. These are from the 2020. So these are from last year's limited edition collection. And this was the candy collection. So this was mango, violet, and then this was aquamarine. So again, I have these all in the medium nib because that's what I prefer now. And then I have different inks in there. So this one is an aqua from Lamy. This one is a violet from Lamy. And this one I actually don't have inked up right now. So once again, if you are interested in the inks that I use, I will leave that in the description so you guys can check it out. But I find that this space is really great for them because they can, um, they're very secure. I also have this Hobonichi. It's a Pentel brush pen. This came with the freebie if you order from Hobonichi's store. 
that's in there for now. And then I also have this other fountain pen. This is the Platinum Placier. And I will link this also down below. I just have black ink because I wanted an all black pen. So black body, black ink. And this one is in the 0.3 nib. So I have that in there as well. Over on this side, this is the flap side. So this is the Papermate Ink Joy in the 0 0.07. I only use this when I use my stencil. So that's the only purpose I use that for. I do have a Muji mechanical pencil. So this one takes 0.5 lead and that's my favorite. And then I do have some eyeliners. So these guys are my favorite. So I use these every single day. So they do have the marker tip and then you do also get the highlighting tip and I rotate the colors out. So right now I just have this kind of peachy color, the pink one, and then this kind of purpley color. And then I also have my Sarasa clips. These are from the pastels. So um, if you watch my Delphonics video, you saw me talking about the vintage ones, which I absolutely love. These ones are the pastel version. So they have the clip here, which makes it really nice to kind of clip here. So I have the light blue, the mint, and then the lavender. So that is all in terms of pens. I do have a couple of pens in the back here. So just kind of floating in the back, I do have more of my fountain pens. This is the latest fountain pen that I got. This is the Kaveco Sport in the light lavender. So this is the 2021 spring release. So this just came out and I do have a whole unboxing video on this. So I have a converter in here, the mini converter, with some ink in it. Um, I do have this one in the medium nib. My macchiato here is in the fine nib. So this is not a limited edition color, but I do find it. it's a little bit harder to get. So I will link this one. I have seen it on Amazon. This one is always out of stock um, because it is a new re release. Um, and it is a limited edition, so this one might be a little bit harder to find. And then I do have a ballpoint pen so that it just retracts in and out like this. And this is in the color mint. So if you guys want to see how I ink up these pens, then you guys can check out my unboxing video. I will leave that in the link below. So over here, I do have these two Molinta clips, and these are really cute. Um, I use them to hold my pencil boards in place in my Hobonichi. So I have one for each side. And this one's really cute because she has a little fountain pen. And then this one here, she has a pencil. And because I'm a writer, so I felt like that was fitting. I do have a Muji black eraser. This is a mini one. And then in here at the very back, I just have some sticky notes. So these ones are from Van Sticky. So I have the regular size one and then this larger one. So it's good for taking lists or extra notes. So I have those handy in the back here. And then these ones I got from a Japanese dollar store here in Toronto. It's called Ichiban Living. And um, they're just little page flags, I guess you can say, but sometimes I will write on them and then you can also use them as page flags at the side of your notebook. So I just keep that all in here. And these Kaveco pens are small enough that they can kind of fit on their side like this, which I think is kind of cute. And then here on the other side, you do get these three mesh pockets. And then in here, I just have various paper clips. So these guys are from Glimmer and Glam. This one is from Sweet Paper Bliss. And this one is from Kiki K. And then I do have an extra SD card in there, just if I need an extra memory card. So I keep those clips handy in there. And then the only other thing I keep in these two bottom pockets are just these extra page flags. So I usually use these in my moleskin notebooks, which I use as my writing notebooks. So anytime I do research or I'm outlining a book, I will use these to kind of tap my notebook up. And that is everything. So I've kind of downsized this. I have far less in here, but I feel like I use everything that is in here. These are kind of like my must haves. Um, if I don't need to minimize so much, then I will move into my Delphonics pouch. So this is kind of like the on the go version of my Delphonics pouch. 
So that is my little tour of my pen case. It zips up really nicely and then you do get the two zippers here. So I find that really handy. Um, once again, I will link this pencil case down below. I got it off of Amazon. So it's really easy to get. And I feel like I've been using this for many, many years probably maybe seven years or so and it's in good condition so i feel like it lasts really well so uh, thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are interested in any inserts from my shop and angeline principles feel free to use the code save 10 to save 10 percent off of your order once again thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye